if I think about NAS and, and the, the impetus to driving NAS and carry NAS in the, in the industry, I think the fundamental thing is that customers are putting, there's a lot of CapEx investment that's happening on the network. The demands on the network is continuing to grow. Um, customers' expectations, business needs are continuing to be heavily focused on, on network. Um, and as those network investments continue to, to be laid down by, by our service providers, they are looking at various ways for monetization. Um, in, in parallel, you look at the hyperscalers and the growth that they are seeing in the market. It's more and more important for uh, service providers to be able to expose the network, to be able to launch new services in the market very, very quickly. Uh, the business providers needs with it is around you know, connectivity, but also security um, and, and, and risk and all of those other areas is a key focus for enterprises when they look at uh, service providers. And so that diversification of business, looking at different areas of revenue, including working well with hyperscalers, um, the only way that it can happen is if you can expose the network layer through um, APIs that can be allowed to work better uh, with those services and launching new services quickly. So from ServiceNow's perspective, our strategy has always been to be able to make sure that we can work in an open environment, allowing our customers to work better with partners and building the system of orchestration uh, and action across those capabilities. Um, if you look at our core capabilities of ServiceNow, we've invested in a network uh, inventory platform. Uh, we announced it a year and a half ago, uh, two years ago actually now. Uh, and the network inventory system really can work both in a federated manner or as the system of record. And what it does is it actually makes sure that you can actually have all the network data, whether that's your physical, logical, or virtual inventory in the ServiceNow platform. But also it can, it's driven based on workflows, as opposed to being just a system of record it actually uh, focuses on being the, the workflow engine that can allow the end-to-end -end processes for the network management, from assetization of the network to be able to be able to design your network, be able to manage the network and make sure that the data is accurate by getting inventory data updated from discovery. That's doing it on the downstream side, but then taking that information and making sure that we are aligning to industry standards to be able to expose that to, uh, by, by the service providers to bring partners on board and bring services on board and being able to integrate that faster. And so on that, on that specific area, we've been working very, very closely with our uh, industry standards bodies like TM Forum and, and MEF. Uh, specifically on MEF, we, we partnered with them very early on in the journey, um, personally being represented in the technical advisory board and making sure we can both influence the standards for the industry, uh, whether that's on the payloads that happens, whether that's the east-west integration from the retail provider, uh, to the wholesale provider, to the hyperscaler, and then also from TV TM Forum to ensure that we can provide the end-to-end -end integration from north-south uh, uh, perspective so that the network data can be exposed for both enterprises as well as partners to be able to bring on services uh, and, and help service providers to monetize them better. So that's been a strategy. We see a lot of interest with customers to be able to do it. Uh, it's a key area of ambition for them to be able to take that capability and launch it into the market um, and get an array of different services to cater to the enterprise customers. Welcome to 2030, a world where Network as a Service, or NAS, has completely transformed carrier networks across the globe. In this new era, artificial intelligence doesn't just assist, it manages. AI-driven systems now orchestrate complex carrier networks, optimizing traffic flow and network management in real time. Imagine networks that predict and adjust to demand before it happens, ensuring unparalleled efficiency. This is now a reality, thanks to AI management embedded within NOS platforms. But what truly sets the 2030 network landscape apart is the adoption of software-defined infrastructure. Carriers can now deploy, manage, and scale network services at the speed of software, with hardware limitations being a thing of the past. Open APIs have unlocked new potentials in interoperability. Developers around the world use these APIs to integrate diverse systems, allowing for seamless communication between carriers like never before. The result? A truly global, seamlessly interconnected network. Whether it's data from Asia to America or Europe to Africa, NAS ensures that information travels through the most efficient paths possible. Welcome to 2030, where carrier networks are no longer just about connectivity. They are about intelligent, dynamic interconnectivity. NAS has not just transformed networks, it has redefined how the world connects.
Join us as we explore how this open framework supporting NAS is being created today. Learn who are the major players and how your company can be involved.